I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the fan trellis stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very pretty stitch, very open work lace stitch, and it's quite easy to work. Same on the front as it is on the back. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some paint box cotton yarn and uh, I'll be using the color slate green here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of the video. Also in the description you'll find a link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. As always I love to hear how you would use this stitch in a crochet project or if you have before, uh, you can let me know that down in the comments. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with a free stitch tutorial as well as uh, crochet patterns. For our tutorial today, it is worked in rows and we're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Now for this stitch, your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 12 stitches. Uh, today for the tutorial, I'm going to chain a total of 24. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Then chain five. Skip the next three chains and then into that next stitch work a single crochet. You're going to repeat all the way across. Chain five, skip three chains, and single crochet into your neck into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches and then meet me back here. At the end of row one, you'll have your final two stitches here. You're going to chain two and then skip the next stitch and work one double crochet into your final stitch. That brings you to the end of row one. You can chain one and turn your work. For row two, single crochet into the top of your first double crochet stitch. Then working into the next chain five space, work seven double crochet stitches. Skip the next single crochet and into the next chain five space, work one single crochet stitch. Next, you're going to chain five and single crochet into the next chain five space. You're now going to repeat that all the way across, beginning with working seven double crochet stitches into your next chain five space single crochet into the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain space, and then uh, work your seven double crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way across uh, to your final chain five space.
When you come to your final chain five space, single crochet into the space, chain two, and then work one triple stitch into the single crochet. That brings you to the end of row two. You can chain one and turn your work. For row three, you chain one, work one single crochet into the top of that first triple stitch, chain five, and then single crochet into the second double crochet of your set of seven. So you're going to skip the chain two space, skip the single crochet, skip that first double crochet, and into your second one of that uh, fan stitch, work one single crochet stitch. Chain five, skip the next three stitches, and into that next stitch, work a single crochet. Chain five, and single crochet into the next chain five space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain five, single crochet into the second double crochet of that set of seven. Chain five, skip three, single crochet into the next stitch. Oops, looks like I actually gonna go back here. There we go. Now skip three, single crochet into that next stitch, chain five, and then you would be single crocheting into your chain five space if you had more stitches. So you're going to keep going all the way across until you come to your final single crochet stitch. And then at that time, you can chain two and then work one triple stitch into your final single crochet. And that brings you uh, to the end of your row three. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three. So your row two started with the chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and then worked seven double crochets into your next chain five space single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, uh, and so forth all the way across. So repeat your row two, then repeat your row three, which we just worked for as long as you would like. And, uh, and that's all there is to working the fan trellis stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Let me know again how you would use this stitch in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.